This is War of Kings, my game of epic conquest and kingdom building. Today we're going to work on this improved set with painted miniatures, settlements, fortifications, and more, so we can have a truly unique version of the game for our gaming table. Let's jump in, and I will show you how we did it. I'm Heath. And I'm Megan. And today we are here with War of Kings. Mm -hmm. And this is a very special game because this was the very first game that I designed and published with my brother mm -hmm. Seth. And so I'm excited to have it returned to our table mm -hmm. because I, I want to uh, change up a few things about it. So what I thought we would do is, first of all, take the opportunity to do basically a, a new kind of play test because mm -hmm. I've got some new revisions I want to do for the rules. So I've been working on those. But then also, we want to do what we do mm -hmm. and improve the components of the game as well. Yes. So this game has uh, fortresses and castles, but then also cities and towns. And so we want to get those painted up nicely mm -hmm. so that everybody, it all looks great. And then plus, I did uh, paint up years ago some uh, 10 millimeter armies, Ooh. some 10 millimeter miniatures. Yeah. So we'll also have actual miniature armies mm -hmm. on the uh, game hall of play. New and improved War of Kings. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right. Let's get to it. So War of Kings was another one of those games where we have all the colored parts. Yeah. And so we want to make sure that they look good, but also are playable. Very stand out, too, because there's a lot of stuff on the board. That's right. And so you could go into a lot of detail with painting all of these towns and villages and cities and it things would, like that. It would take a while, though. <laughs> but we want them to be clearly one mm -hmm. player's or another. So we used our basic spray painting technique. We did prime them. Yes. Uh, a lot of them were primed with, um, or painted and primed at the same time yes. with Army Painter, but those that uh, weren't were still primed. We also did the wash on all of them. Yes. To add, yeah. so after we did that, adding the shadow back in as well. And that does help bring out all the recesses and mm -hmm. things like that. And then we did the highlight coat as well. That's right. So like the on the black miniatures, we used mm -hmm. a gray mm -hmm. coat. Uh, technique with black in order to make it look black is that at least 50% of it needs to remain black. So yes. there's the light coat at a 45 degree angle and also from the top mm -hmm. as the highlight coat gets, uh, gets the dimensions in there. And this is the highlight coat mm -hmm. on all of the on settlements. The not black ones. Right. So I went back to... The, the pure color mm -hmm. and did it at a 45 degree angle, a light pass at a 45 degree angle and straight from the top in order to uh, re restore the highlights. Mm -hmm. And then the matte finish. Matte finish clear coat. That's always the last mm -hmm. step to kind of protect them on yeah, the table. Make sure nothing happens to them. And now, then, then the bases. <laughs> well, these were for the uh, militia right. tiles. Oh, so I was yeah. like, what do I need to. Uh, what what can I use to make those? And mm -hmm. so I had all of those extra uh, area control tokens, and so I painted them brown and moved And on. I took all of these toothpicks and did a wood finish, a stain on them, and that so, turned out pretty well. It was kind of sticky. Because we're but, trying to make flags here. Yeah, so you're we're making trying flag to make flags. So we wanted them to look darker than just... And then I just cut the toothpicks in half, and that worked really well. It was a good size. Fortunately, I had some stickers for the flags. Yes. That made it a lot easier. So we were able to just unroll that. I'll add the heraldic charges of all the different players mm -hmm. on it. And so we were able to just stick those It was meticulous work to make sure it looked nice, but... The militia are a part that weren't in the original edition of the game. Mm -hmm. It's been something I was experimenting with uh, for future editions mm -hmm. of the game. And then I just used some super glue to uh, attach the toothpicks and that glued really quickly and they stood up well so using super glues they're important because yeah. if you just use white glue you'll i be... tried with the tacky glue and it just it they kept falling over but the super glue yeah, that was yeah the you'll way be to standing go. there all day yeah i was propping them up next to things to try and hold them up it just yeah lesson learned the next step is flocking them mm -hmm. so we did the glue coat again and then just yeah. kind of rolling them around in the flock. We used watered-down PVA. Yeah. So it wasn't straight. It was just uh, the PVA is the Elmer's glue. Mm -hmm. Watered it down and then used that. And then it shake really it around nicely. inside the uh, flock that way. And then next up, we did all of the fortifications as well. We gave them their prime. and Yeah, these are generic pieces. They don't yeah. belong to a certain player. Yeah. So they were all done in the same way. And then some of these... Um, especially the like towers and more castle like ones uh, we did paint 
I'm working on the fortifications here, and I did some modifications to the, especially the walls. I wanted to change them up so that it would be easier to see the uh, villages mm -hmm. and the settlements that are inside. And so I took the scissors. <laughs> you just to, went at them. <laughs> yeah, I just went at them in order to cut them down, in order to try to make them something that's, whoa, <laughs> a bit uh, a better scale. Yeah. And I used all these extra uh, coin tokens from the, another version of the game. Of right, yes, in order to make bases for them. Looks good, though. Yeah, that was one of my favorite modifications. Mm -hmm. and this all, was good, too. Yeah, I wanted the um, settlements to sit up higher inside yeah. those fortifications. You can definitely you can see, see the colors a lot better if they're up. Styrofoam block is a good way to go with that. Yeah. Here we've got War of Kings all finished up. This was a lot of pieces to put together. Yeah, there was a lot. The armies look great, though. Those I did a long time ago. I wanted to paint 10 millimeter mm -hmm. uh, medieval soldiers for a long time, and so I finally did it when we were doing War of Kings originally, and that's one of my favorite parts yeah. of this set here. We've got all the fortifications done. I took a lot of time to paint these. And also all of the... Uh, settlements. Mm -hmm. They came out well. You know, they're very playable because yeah. we want to stay with the colors because the colors are important for the culture yeah. uh, actually as part of the games. So we wanted to make sure that everybody could easily recognize yeah, being their being able to see everything with everything that's on the board. But that's okay. It's an improvement. Yes. It, those are the things, th that's an easy way to improve things mm -hmm. uh, without going overboard and then making it not playable. Mm -hmm. So that works very well. So we'll be playing this on Dinner and a Board Game. This will be one of our Dinner and a Board Game so games. Check it out. So be sure to check that out. That's mm -hmm. coming. And if they want to get in touch with you, how do they do that? I am at Megan Pecco on Twitter and Instagram. And I am at E. Heath Robinson if you'd like to connect with me on both mm -hmm. Twitter and Instagram. And give and us a like, a yes, thumbs up. Do. If you enjoyed this project, please do. Subscribe to the channel. Mm -hmm. We've got more board game stuff mm -hmm. that we're doing. We've got a lot of other board Lots games to more. enhance. But also a lot of other projects, too. There's a lot of other things we want to do in the workshop. Yeah. Costuming, armor making. I mean, we've got all kinds of Everything. things planned. So <laughs> please subscribe to the channel. Okay. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.